I found it very engaging, very inspiring, and very participatory. We had very uh, interesting group discussions about food systems, about agriculture, wild plants, vegetables, uh, all the topics also around SDGs. Um, so SDG 2 was really at the core of the, of the meeting today, so it was really interesting to hear agricultural experts from different areas, from, agricult from uh, research backgrounds, but also from international organizations, from the private sector, entrepreneurs, uh, discuss not only about agriculture, but going beyond farm, uh, talking about the entire food system and how it should um, be nutritious, not only to feed the people, but really to nourish them. So um, one of the priorities is definitely food safety. Uh, food safety, as we know, uh, is a big issue in Asia, especially when it comes to uh, pesticide residues um, and especially in vegetables. I work for the World Vegetable Center. We conduct a lot of studies around uh, pesticides and how we can uh, change um, behaviors of farmers, but not only at the farm, but food safety is an issue along the value chain. Um, also, when it comes to uh, microbial contamination of food, so there's a lot to be done in that area, and the World Vegetable Center is really active in this. So we want to continue to promote this. I think this is a number one priority. Uh, second priority would be to really keep that uh, food system approach uh, by working um, simultaneously from the supply side and uh, from the demand side. So we want, we want to continue to work with farmers, to work with improved varieties, but we need to also work, uh, continue the good work uh, along the supply chain up to uh, the demand. We need to, to work with consumers, um, increase awareness of the need for safe food, nutritious food, uh, to move towards healthy diets. Um, so this is a really a food system approach. So that's uh, really a, a priority. And the third one, I would say, is um, the emphasis on traditional vegetables. Traditional vegetables are very robust in terms of uh, resistance and against climate change, against all sorts of stresses, um, and they are very nutritious. Uh, so we want to make sure that we maintain the diversity um, uh, in Asia of those traditional vegetables. To, uh, we want to make sure we continue to grow them uh, and also to give some incentives for people to eat them because they are so nutritious and, and, and good for the farmers as well in terms of uh, incomes. So traditional vegetables, I think, should be also a priority for Asia.